Today, Delhi Metro run trains almost every other minute. You must be wondering how is it possible to run so many trains at such a short interval and still eliminate the chance of accidents. Well, the magic is created by the advanced signaling system of Delhi Metro. The signaling system controls the movement of trains in such a way that when one of the train is occupying a given section, the other train did not get the permission to move in that area. The metro signaling system uses two sets of computers, one on the station and the other on board the trains. The station signaling computer has all the required information regarding the status of signals, points, track circuits, etc. for the relevant section. This information is provided in real time to the onboard train control computer which decides whether it is required to increase or decrease the speed of the train or to stop altogether. This interlinking of information about various signaling equipments through signaling computers with the objective to ensure safe passage to train always is known as computer-based interlocking. Unlike other means of transport, the rail transport system or metro train suffers with two major constraints. The first one is the trains do not have any steering system. So, they cannot be steered away in case they come across an obstacle or obstruction. This constraint requires for a guaranteed path to the train even before it starts its journey. The second constraint is the low friction between wheels and rails. Though low friction is desirable when the trains are running as it will require less efforts and energy to keep the train running. But when a train needs to stop, low friction is a problem. The train needs much longer distance to come to a stop. Hence, a train requires a guaranteed path to run and the advance information to stop. To achieve the desired control over the movement of trains, railways use different signaling systems. Signaling, in turn, uses signals, points, track circuits, axle counters and other such equipments to control movement and to communicate whether a train operator is required to move or stop. Operation of these equipments can only be done in a predefined sequence. For example, if there is a level crossing gate in the route of a train, the level crossing gate is required to be closed against the road traffic before a signal can be given to the train to start. Now, this closing of gate and giving of signal to train is so interlinked by mechanical, electrical or electronic means that it is not possible to give the signal until and unless the gate is closed. Not only this, but once the signal is given to the train to proceed, it is not possible to open the gate until either the train has passed the gate or till the signal is restored to its restrictive position. With this understanding, let's now understand the various terms related to signaling. Signal a railway signal is a visual display device that conveys instructions or provide advance warning to train operator regarding his authority to proceed. A signal informs the train operator of the speed at which the train may safely proceed or it may instruct the train operator to stop. Route Route is a specific path from an origin signal to a destination signal. Section a specific area of track between two locations protected by signals at both the ends may have one or more than one route. Point Point is arrangement of pair of switch and stock rails. Switch rail is a movable rail while stock rail is long continuous rail. It is the movement of switch rail which diverts the train. Point machine is an electromechanical device which operates the switch rails of point electrically. It has control arms for throwing the point. 
track circuit. A track circuit is an electrical circuit which includes the rails of a section. It usually has a signal source at one end and a detection device at the other. An electrical signal is sent to the rail from indoor at one end of rail and received at another end of rail and finally it returns to evaluator indoor. If a train is present in the section, the signal will not be detected at receiver end as it is shunted by rail wheels. These track circuits and axle counters are also interlinked with the operation of points and clearance of signals to the trains. This interlinking of different signaling equipments in railway signaling as discussed in the beginning of the presentation is termed as interlocking. In metro systems like in Delhi Metro, the solid state type or computer-based interlocking is used. These are large computers that evaluate the actual condition of a signal, point, track circuit or an axle counter in a station or yard in real time and based on the evaluation provides information to onboard train control computer or the train operator about the movement of train in real time. In computer-based interlocking, a command for control of routes is sent by operator from his console and is executed by interlocking computer to safely move the train. Computer-based interlockings are capable of generating and storing logs and alarms for the events. They can be dispatched automatically to train supervision computer during failure of signaling equipment. In this way, with the help of computer-based interlocking signaling system, the Delhi Metro is able to guarantee a fast, safe, punctual and reliable journey to its patrons always. You can be sure of your safety when you are traveling in a Delhi Metro train. Thank you. You were watching a video by Delhi Metro Rail Academy.